reading input from the console. As of now, I have already shown you how to display something on the screen. Okay? But how to take input? For example, rather than doing this, I'll say enter your name. So it is not like C, C++ where you need to declare your all variables and then you have to use it. C sharp anywhere you can declare a variable. How to declare a variable? So you need to say the data type, the string and the variable name. It should be a meaningful name, str name. And it should be in the camel case. Camel case means all the variables are going to be in the camel case where first character is going to be, first word character is going to be small and the second word onwards is going to be capital. For method, you have to follow Pascal case. Pascal case means every character, every first character of a word is going to be capital. Okay? And you need to say console dot read line. Okay? And if you want to print what user has given, you can say your name is and you need to concatenate your variable and you say str why I am giving str? So when you type str, you will get all list of string. When you say num, you will get all the numbers. So that way, same way if I am using controls, if I say txt, so I will get all the text boxes. If I say lbl, I will get all the level. So these are the good naming convention which industry follows. And that you have to also follow in your code. Why? Today if you are writing the code, tomorrow somebody else is going to manage that. So the person, what you are writing, if it follow the standards, it will be the, easy for the other person to understand that, okay, you have written or created a variable or this is a method name. Okay, let's run this. Enter your name. I'm sorry. Well and good. Now, after this, I want to ask, Okay. Enter your age. So same way I'll say int and num age is equal to console. What is read? I'll explain later point of time. Okay. Now see this is giving an error. And this is going to happen everywhere. It is a Windows application, web application, MDC, you will face this problem. Normally when we get the data from a text box or a console, it returns as a text. So though you are going to type numeric, but here the read line returns text. The text box returns text. And you this type safety, we are talking about type safety you cannot do that conversion okay so forcefully I need to do it so this is not going to happen implicitly I need to do it explicitly and this is the explicit conversion we'll talk about different things also but this is explicit conversion now this printing I will print at the end after getting the name and I'll say enter your sorry this is not this one plus your age is str sorry num num Can you see there is a problem? There is a space issue, yes? That means I need to manually take care of the space. And there is lots of plus 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 symbol. To avoid that, we are having other way of doing this. We can use we can use placeholders. Okay? This is the way. This is called placeholder. You can declare as many as and at the end you can provide the variables 
which are what it is going to happen here it is going to take the value from this variable and going to display here same thing it is going to take the value and display here you need to understand one thing how many placeholder that many variables you need to pass and it is not required that always you need to pass the different variable you can pass same variable multiple times okay but here the good thing is i need not to bother about the plus symbols and extra spaces <coughs> excuse me and did i bole mai koi bhi Can you see the next one? I need not to bother about anything. And it's working fine. Understand? Anyone having any doubt? The same concept is going to work everywhere. So we are having console dot read line. Console dot read. What is the difference between console dot read line and console dot read? A console dot read line takes return string. A console dot read line take what you are writing on the console. It reads that. Okay. So this is the function. this is the function reading the string from that black and white screen that is called console we have another method that is called console dot read okay the read line is going to return a string whereas the read is going to return the ascii value of first character you know very well that every every keyword is going to have an ascii value okay so when you use console dot read if you are writing a big string also it is going to take the first character and what is the ascii value it is going to return the same thing for executing console dot read line and console dot read you need to hit enter key but we are having one more that is called console dot read key in case of read key normally we say press any key to exit i'm not asking user to hit enter i'm asking user to press any key to exit in that condition we are going to use read key 